And the 8 a.m. advisory just came out minutes ago. Here's meteorologist Zach Gonzalez with the very latest set. All right, thank you, Maribel. Good morning, everyone. Yes, Tropical Storm Isaias has weakened since last night, and you can see here on the satellite image that the worst of the weather is still over the Bahamas and away from Florida. As we look at that latest 8 a.m. advisory, not seeing much in the way of change. Right now, it's located 40 miles east-southeast of West Palm Beach, and max sustained winds of 65 miles an hour moving to the northwest at 8 miles an hour. Now, the next complete advisory will be at 11 a.m. But really at this point, we're not expecting any drastic changes in terms of the forecast track. And as of now, even the intensity because of the fact that Isaias is struggling with some very dry air and some wind shear. But as we take a look at the latest warnings and watches, yeah, tro tropical storm warning is no longer in effect for Miami-Dade County. But we do have a tropical storm warning for Hallandale Beach and areas northward. No longer seeing that hurricane warning for the east coast of Florida from Palm Beach northward. Just a tropical storm warning now. And hurricane warnings continue for the northwestern Bahamas as they're continuing to deal with a very squally and active weather pattern still. As we look at the forecast track, Isaias is expected to move towards the northwest. The tropical storm conditions more likely for Palm Beach County, although possible for northern Broward County. And then it'll continue to likely just skirt up the coast here of Florida could be near Melbourne by later this afternoon and near the Space Coast there into the evening. But then notice how it starts to turn more north than northeast due to a dip in the jet stream that's going to steer it in that direction just off the coast of Georgia as we get into Monday afternoon. Then Monday night into Tuesday could be either near or over the Carolina coast and then it continues northeastward possibly towards the New England areas as we head into the middle of the week. Looking at the water vapor imagery, this is the reason why Tropical Storm Isaias had a difficult time getting its act together and re-strengthening back into a hurricane. This was expected last night because there was a big blow up of convection, but now we're seeing that dry over the state and the wind shear is just keeping it in check. Now we're still gonna see some impacts here in South Florida. The winds throughout the day will gradually decrease, but even as of this morning, we're seeing those winds 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the south to southwest, gusts to 30 miles an hour. Some brief downpours will be possible, expecting those gusty showers, but the heaviest rain will be offshore and to our north. In addition to that, the trail of moisture left behind by Isaias, even as it lifts away from us, will lead to some spotty showers and storms as we head into tomorrow into your Monday. So hang on to the umbrella. We're not expecting rain all day, but these on and off again, quick moving rain bands. As you'll notice on the radar, a lot of lightning and nasty, dangerous weather over the Bahamas. And then we're seeing some of those showers that are moving quickly through parts of Tamarack, Coral Springs, Fort Lauderdale. Also seeing some light rain near Southwest Ranches, Weston, Pembroke Pines, North Miami, Miami Lakes, as well as near Coral Gables and Sprinkles and Kendale Lakes. It's quiet and dry down through the Keys. There's that breeze currently about 13 to 14 miles an hour, mainly out of the West. We've had gusts as high as 22 to 25 miles an hour so far since midnight. As we head throughout the day today, we will see some peaks of sun here in there that will allow our highs to climb to the low 90s. So it'll be hot and a very tropical feel with quick showers, a few downpours. Also, it is not safe to be out on the water boating or to head to the beach because of the dangerous marine conditions. Still dealing with tropical storm force winds, gust of 40 knots possible. Not only that, a high surf advisory of rough surf out there, four to 10 feet, seas 12 to 14, subsiding to five to nine later on. And tonight, gusty at times with a chance for some overnight showers. So still a bit unsettled as we head into your Monday because we're going to deal with this moisture tail of Isaias as it lifts up along the Florida coast. So tomorrow, still the chance for showers and storms, but more sunshine, especially by Tuesday. And then it's back to our typical summertime pattern the rest of the week. Highs in the low 90s with a mix of sun and scattered storms. We'll have meteorologist Jennifer Correa join us in just a few minutes.